Long ago, there lived an old shoemaker named Martin. Martin lived alone in his humble shop, but his work was of the finest quality, and he was always honest with his customers. He tried to live the way the Savior taught. One night, as he was sleeping, he heard a voice. Martin, Martin, look tomorrow on the street, for I am coming. Martin awoke, unsure if he had been dreaming. That morning he set to work as usual, but could not help but look steadfastly out the window onto the street, just in case his beloved Savior appeared. As he was watching, Martin noticed an old soldier out in the freezing cold, shoveling snow. Martin invited him into his shop and gave him something warm to drink. Later in the day, Martin noticed a young mother cradling a small child in her arms. She had no coat. Martin insisted she come in and warm herself by the fire. He learned that the day before, she had sold her shawl to buy food. After she had eaten, the old cobbler gave her some coins and gave her his own coat. In the evening, an old woman selling some apples appeared. A hungry little boy came along and tried to steal an apple, but the woman grabbed him and threatened to take him to the police. Martin rushed out into the street and begged her to let the boy go. Martin paid for the apple himself and gave it to the boy, who promised to not steal again. Martin returned to his shop and kept working and when night came, Martin put his tools away, disappointed that he had waited all day and his Savior had not come. As he lit the candle, however, a voice whispered to him, Martin, Martin, did you not recognize me? From the dim corner of his shop, the old soldier, the mother and her child, the boy and the old woman stepped into the light. It is I, they whispered. And then the old cobbler understood. He pulled out his well-worn scriptures and read these words. For I was unhungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Inasmuch as ye have done it unto the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. And then Martin knew his dream had been real after all, and the Savior truly had visited him that day.